Hi, YouTube. It's Angela. Well, we're here at the beginning of October, just past the harvest full moon. And um, I did a reading with the Monday morning pause at the well group. And it was all about release, release, autumn, you know, let the leaves fall, um, you know, let things go and to make space for what it is you're about to create. I can't seem to get away from that energy because every card I pulled here for us is the same. I'm taking this as a personal message <laughs> from the universe, but I hope that it aligns with you as well. So the first card I got here is change. And the little note says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So um, this, the, to go along with the spirit of the fall equinox and, um, you know, the harvest moon and autumn release and all those metaphors that we find in nature that help our spirit to follow suit, change, as we know, is constant. And what I got from this when I first pulled it was not a change that we create. I need to do this now and, and not something that we're imposing on ourselves, but change that happens inevitably because it's always happening right so and that kind of change when it happens without our choosing sometimes feels um like we want to get resistant it sometimes creates a resistance in us like why why is this happening now you know but life marches on right things will continue to ebb and flow and if we're right in the flow of that instead of trying to jump ahead to the next few moments or cling to this moment here and what, what it is we know is good and right and true without being open to whatever is coming along to take us on that flow, we end up getting stuck. And the first card I pulled was stress <laughs> that goes with this change card. So the stress is real, right? The resistance to the change creates stress. Now, there are some points of stress that are really good for us, like a change comes along and we we get sort of agitated into um, a, to make a decision, to make a move, to make a change, to let the change in, right? If we um, use that stress as sort of an impetus, as sort of a motivator to move us forward, great. But if we're using that stress to stay in place and resist and fight the the shifts that are coming, we end up mm, kind of, you know, when a car spins its wheels in the mud or in the snow and it, you kind of dig in deeper. So the card, the second Zen card that I pulled to go with this, with, along with the stress is receptivity, staying open. Um, I just posted to our October soul challenge video, which is being more aware of openness in your life and being open to new ideas, new thoughts, new people, um, other possibilities for a situation besides the one that you've already decided in your mind, right? Which we do a lot. So this is that openness, staying open. Um, the stress, change will create stress, but it's how long you stay in that stress is your choice, right? Are you going to... Uh, move with that energy and make a decision and, you know, shift gears or, or change paths because of the change that came about? Or are you going to get, you know, dig your heels in and get stuck and resist it? So that level of stress is up to you. And the level of openness and allowing for new flow is up to you as well. I mean, all of it's up to you, right? We're, <laughs> the, we're, that's what we're, that's what our soul guidance is all about is what's best for us, what's best for me, um, for you. So that's our first opener of these cards. It's change and then just calling attention to the amount of stress that creates for you and then further observing how much of um, that, that stress that's growing is caused by you resisting it, okay? That's, that's a really good opportunity to kind of take a step back and see where you are imposing um, higher levels of stress in your life. Because eventually, when you get stuck in that, it's, it's harder to untangle it. You know, it's, it's easier to catch it early, as you know, 
as we all try to do. And then the next oracle I pulled is unfoldment. So this is following on the heels of change that happens and um, deciding how much stress I'm going to take on, but then shifting to an open mind and open heart. Actually, that Lotus card is depicted on that receptivity card. So that's, you know, goes right into that um, energy. And this is more of a, I want to say passive energy, but you're still co-creating, even if you're just resting and being in presence and allowing for, you know, the, the universe spirit, the collective the consciousness, whatever it is that you put your word on it, God, allowing for those other parts to your path to show up. And then you get to decide in which direction you want to go. The key to that is slowing down. I just said it's more of a passive energy. So, you know, allow yourself to absorb each moment, each element, each idea, um, each new possible path to show up and absorb it instead of taking off. Oh, here's an answer. Go. Right. And then you may miss the other answer that was going to like, you know, kind of show up next. <laughs> So really taking the time to, um, I love to say like this tortoise, just keep your energetic feet right under you, be in your alignment and observe and respond and um, uh, make decisions based on that alignment, on your energetic feet being right under you. There's more power in that and you have less chance for you know, sort of mindless mistakes or errors or errors in judgment if you remain uh, centered as you watch the change and, and the life unfold around you. Then after slowing down, I got no thingness. This is one that is asking us to um, not expect. Now, if this change, this element of change that came in for you is something that is definitive you know exactly what it was for you in your life um when it when the card came up um you know i invite you to focus on go even deeper like if this change came and it's throwing you off i don't really like this i don't want to do it this way um why why because sometimes the universe has things planned for us. We can't see right away. We can't see that far down the road. We do know this moment. We know the change came. There's a little bit of trust that needs to be baked in to such an experience that you can, you know, kind of say, okay, I thought it was going this way, but here it is. This is what I'm presented with. Now what? Right? Instead of, oh, you know, I'm going to fight this thing that came in that wasn't what I expected. I'm going to fight it tooth and nail and now you're losing sight of the path you were on and the flow you were on because you chose to stop and resist so it's that willingness to expect nothing and allow for everything that's coming through allow for it all to unfold and um then you have sort of more of a potpourri of choices if you you know slow down take a moment get your energetic feet under you and then see what develops that's all. There isn't any um, real action that has to take place in this step. Just observe, absorb, and um, feel it through. Just feel it through. <clears throat> then I got renewal. This is sort of the result of that slowing down, allowing things to unfold on the heels of change, right? Where uh, I'm willing to see where this might lead. Uh, I'm not going to fight or resist it too hard. And in that slowing down, you reattune with your own inner alignment and, and possibly even, you know, the things that are coming that you may um, not have thought of before, before that change happened or before, you know, this change can also be um, within you, like a new idea that you have. I'm going along, I'm doing this, I'm going to do ABC and then boom you know, X, Y, Z pops in and it's like, wait, I, I thought I was, that is a possibility that the change came from your new idea. 
go with it. That's creativity. That's, you know, your inspiration working for you. So letting that, you know, um, play out a little more than immediately wanting to resist when something shifts is the best way. Now we're tapping into, um, you know, sort of reconnecting, regrounding, getting in touch with our own energy as it relates to the path ahead. Um, it's really important to to have those tune in moments um, along your way. I like to sort of schedule mine in <laughs> because I don't always naturally flow to a moment of rest. So I have to, um, you know, I've been known to like set alarms in my phone, you know, breathe <laughs> time to set because I, my days can get so busy. But that sense of renewal is your reconnection to your inner being, to your inner light and how that relates to the collective and the universe. I got consciousness to go with that. That is definitely employing your higher self to recharge, re, you know, renew and, um, you know, reactivate your higher self so that, you know, you have that higher self. I was going to say it, but I don't know. You have the energy of your higher self always on board guiding you as well. Uh, we're living in this real world. This is the whole point of my business called Grounded Dreamers is that we're living in this real world with real challenges, day-to-day -day human interactions, you know, mistakes and successes, and all of that is managed and measured. And that's the quality of being human. You can also have your higher being guiding you through that. And this is where the dreamers part comes in of Grounded Dreamers. We're trying to find a balance between both so that we can be practical and spiritual at the same time balance them it helps it helps us um you know achieve more and then we feel more aligned with the things that we're achieving i also pulled awareness so that time to take time to renew to to um tap into your inner self will create more a clearer picture it will bring clarity most of the time right the veil is lifted now i see right this change came i resisted it i wasn't sure I took the time to pause, allowed it to unfold, let the universe bring in all the elements that I may need to choose from and to assemble in order to move forward. And I took that time to reconnect with spirit, with my own inner being, to really be aligned with what this is I'm going to be doing next, you know, post change. Um, it really has an effect. It, it brings the clarity. So those moments are important. Those uh, touchdown moments. And the final card, the final oracle that I pulled in this journey, you know, we have change, unfoldment, renewal, and then I got transmutation. This is the phoenix rises, right? This is changing from one state to another, evolving, right? Feeling free again, feeling free from the limits that maybe the change had us perceiving that there were limits on our choices, but being able to rest with it, be with it, um, you know, tap into your inner being and what's right for you, you could really transform and shift things. You know, the the change doesn't mean something's ending. It means you're processing for a new beginning, right? Think of it that way. We get real resistant to change. I get it. Trust me, we're creatures of habit. I love how things can be predicted and, and um, you know, one, two, three, just keep happening, repeat and rinse. But there's no evolving in that, right? And we're here to do the work so that we can continue to evolve our soul. And so think of change as processing to create a new beginning. And if you think of it that way, then, you know, the phoenix rises again in full force. You're flying soon and you're a free bird again, right? Into your next adventure. With that transmutation card, I pulled possibilities, right? If you remember, look at the eagle. He's flying just like the phoenix. There he goes. And, and he's seeing the entire picture from his vantage point instead of a more closed, right? That Remember that stress card? Oh, the change happened and I don't want it to change. I want to remain the same. I want to hang on. I like my habits <laughs> and my patterns. 
but there's always more to be had, to be felt, to be lived. There's always more. And, um, you know, going through the process of being in acceptance when change arrives and allowing for the pieces to assemble without rushing through, right? Take that time to pause and um, absorb it. Then you start to get that higher vantage point. We, we had the clarity in the last little set and now you really can see it all. You can see all the possibilities that any direction you wanna go in is there for you. And then the last card I pulled is flowering. And this is the manifestation of the seeds you planted <laughs> when you were um, embarking on, on something new, on this change. And another lotus image there. So there's a lot to be said for being like the lotus, right? For allowing for the, you know, the lotus sinks into mud in the evening and then, and then rises, you know, every day. And that's, that's you, right? The, the change could sink you down or, or, you know, um, hold your spirit in place for a minute, but then you rise from it. You, you always do if you're paying attention, right? Okay, so now I'm just going to pull some bonus cards. It's kind of in my habit lately. I'm not sure um, why I started that, but let's see what we get here from the, oh, and um, I've been using a variety of decks, so I'll list those in the um, video notes here below this reading if, if you're interested in these decks. So I got integrity. Oh my gosh, another lotus image. This is beautiful. This is, this reminds me of this renewal card. This is tapping into your inner being. This is, you know, the head bows to the heart and the heart buoys the head. They work together, right? My mind can tell me, oh, this change came and these are the steps I have to take and I must go forward doing this ABC outline. But our hearts may, Feel something different. And that's why taking that time to let it unfold is important. Once you get to the alignment you're seeking and, and incorporate, you know, the change and the new possibilities all at once, now you're moving in alignment. Now you're going toward those things that mean uh, the most to you and that, that feel like you should be going in that direction, not that you think, you know, like I said, the head and the heart work together, but mostly um, it starts with, with within. It starts with the heart. And then I'll pull a couple of Zen cards to go with that integrity card just to see. Woo, flying. They're flying. Um, just to see, you know, if we can get a little more out of that integrity. So I like this. I got projections. <laughs> This is being cautious of giving away your energy or putting your energy out or expectations out onto another when the real work is done within, right? So being mindful of when you flip to this, right? When you're feeling frustrated or feeling a little stressed and then you look for an outside source or blame an outside person for the way you feel or their behavior or whatever. when within you if you if you just call attention to when you do this because we all do it right we all kind of um snap judge or um uh tell others we i need you to behave this way or i'm not going to be happy or whatever we do it we're all guilty of it and just call attention to when that happens for you when you when you do um bring in that energy and then pull it back in bring it back into your center um I got aloneness with that. I love this because that is re returning to your own presence. That is, you know, lo aloneness. I've said it so many times, but loneliness feels like the absence of another, but aloneness feels like the presence of yourself. There's an, an empowerment um, vibration to that. And that's the trick, you know, staying aligned, continuing to work with your own you know, mind and heart. Uh, when things get funky, resist the urge to point fingers or put it out there or respond in a way that isn't from your own alignment. And then 
realizing, you know, your own alignment and your very presence, your full presence is what moves you through into the next, um, into the next movement, into the next shift. So that's the journey. That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, yeah, leave a comment, come see me on uh, uh, the rest of my channel, come see me on my website, do all the things that you can and um, get on my email list because that's where all of this is starting to build up. Okay, love you guys, love, love, love. See you soon.